when I agreed to test out this SUV, I thought, no brainer, this is huge. It's gotta be dog friendly. So I came around and popped open the rear. Come on, Andy. Come on, it's okay. Andy was kind of scared to go in and I thought, by the end of this, I am gonna kill my back. Oh. But then I realized, oh, this thing lowers. Problem solved. Yeah. Boop. Now getting Andy in and out was a breeze. This week we are lab testing the 2019 Lexus LX 570. Let's check this thing out. you something funny I was filming earlier totally didn't realize my mic turned off and you will not believe what was in the middle of the road fortunately I had grabbed a secondary camera so take a look my gosh stop there is legit a cow in the middle of the road <gasps> holy what did we do If that cow ran into me, I'd have to call Lexus up. That would be interesting. Well, we had a little bit of an incident today. Yep, mm-hmm, old Bessie, you know, the big brown cow. I think that cow was checking me out. I mean, sh she maybe thought I was a milk cow. Who knows? <coughs> there are so many dog-friendly features, plus it's pretty sweet for humans, too. Well, for starters, cool box. Great for keeping your beverages cold, water for the fur kid, a snack. It's not a refrigerator, but as long as the car is on, it will blast cold air to that box. Andy, want some watermelon? <laughs> Nothing like cold watermelon. There you go, Andy. Flat floor space in the second row, your dog could fit here. Plus, these seats move forward and back with the push of a button, and you can recline these suckers. And if you really want to give your fur kids some more space back there, or maybe you're just buying some bigger items, look at this. What? Did you see that? Ready? Here we go. You could just use it like an aisle. My legs don't even touch the ceiling. And if you position your dog here and want to keep the rear space open, it actually dips so your dog is going to feel that much more snug, lower to the ground, stable when you're moving around. Clamshell rear, your dog won't launch themselves out. And look how cute they look. Look at that, it makes a cute little chin rest. Interior color couldn't be any better. Blonde carpet. Plastic blonde sides, blonde leather, blonde dog. I don't even see Andy's dog hair. Your dog's so comfortable, they don't even want to get out. Let's go, come on, let's go. Flexibility is an understatement. You feel like you need more space for your fur kit? Hold on with the push of a button. Want to see it again? Plop. Plus, check this out. Oh. Here, Andy. You can fit three people across this back. Leg room. This is what the leg room looks like with the second seat pushed all the way forward. 
versus all the way back. There is so much leg room. And if you leave that middle seat up, Andy can even fit in here now. And with all the rear seats up, you still have a little extra space in the back. Now you got a table. Ceiling ventilation. Wherever you look, you can find access to air and your controls for the rear are right here. And there's even a fancy setting up front called Climate Concierge. When you press it, it will automatically adjust the temperature to maximize comfort throughout all four zones. <laughs> and you have heated and ventilated seats back here. Now, even though it looks like it's two units, like a 60-40, I love that you can actually fold down this center. Peek through to the back. Hi, Andy. Easy to hand your dog a treat. Built-in sunshades, great for blocking out that extra sunlight. Storage is great. Now you already saw that cool box. Front console. Sit, seat backs, and doors, plus all the floor space. And when you put those seats down, you can really pack this thing out. people. Plus, these seats are seriously comfortable. And speaking of seats, they are made with genuine, soft, high-end leather. And do you see these front features here? Real wood. You can't bite it, Andy. Hmm. And the wood is also on the steering wheel, and it feels so smooth. You know when you put lotion on your hands and your palms feel nice and soft? That's what this reminds me of. It's really nice. There's more wood down here and this black trim on the door. It's not just a glossy black trim. There's actually gold specks. Yeah, it's like gold flakes. Now the infotainment is a beautiful, nice size screen, but just be aware, it does not have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You can hook your phone up via Bluetooth, access your playlist, talk through the car, but you're not gonna be able to use Google Maps or Waze, you'll have to rely on the car's navigation. But guess what? It has a wireless charger and it's tucked away. It's not a touch screen, so you're gonna have to use this scrolly knob thingamajig. It definitely takes a little bit of getting used to. Whoa, not there, I want this. Go back, too far, hook. Up, oh, I got it. Would be nice to just go boop, 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 but you gotta use this thing. And you know you're in a luxury vehicle when you got an analog clock. Look at that, nice little touch. Right here in the center kinda looks like a spaceship. Huge buttons and knobs makes it that much safer when you drive. This is a real SUV, not like a little crossover. It has full-time four-wheel drive. And it has a button here that says mountains. And I heard this does particularly well off-road. Now I've primarily been driving in comfort mode and I love it. And those 20 inch wheels, hey! Driving this thing, you're so high, you feel like you could just roll over anything. I mean, visibility is really good. The hood kind of goes down, so I feel like I can see the front easily. Turn to the back. I mean, these windows are so big, you can see everything. And these side view mirrors are huge. They're bigger than my head. Nighttime visibility, I don't think you need to worry about hitting any of Andy's deer friends. But can you imagine if you hit a deer in this thing? Whew, I feel bad for that deer. That rear entertainment system, I mean, yeah, it's great for long road trips, but who needs a TV in their house? This thing is so comfortable, you got your dual screens. Why not have movie night back there? In all seriousness,
seriousness, if you don't want your kids staring at the screens, you could put the nice little slip covers right over them. I'm getting kind of thirsty. Toolbox cold. And when it comes to safety features, this Lexus is gonna have everything you want and more. And the backup camera display is on point. You get two angles the entire time you're backing up. Look how easy it is to back into this space. This has been a lot of fun to drive because you don't really get to see these too much on the road. Yes, the price tag is steep, and even Toyota's version, the Land Cruiser, that's expensive too. In my opinion, if you're gonna shell out that kind of money for this kind of SUV, I would totally upgrade and get this Lexus. Andy, should we tell them our top five favorite features are one, ventilation. Let's just say Andy was super cool. Two, engine noise is minimal. Very impressed for a large vehicle. Three, flexibility of seating options. You can really get creative back here. Four, the mega size movable visors. And five, all of the flat floor space. Very mm. dog friendly. Plus, I thought it was really easy to clean. Big shout out to Lexus for letting us lab test this beautiful 2019 LX 570. Andy, is it lab approved? This is totally lab approved. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see more pictures of this Lexus, make sure to follow Andy on Instagram. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, oh, if you have a dog, you don't want to miss next week's video because we're revealing the winner of our dog bed challenge. Casper versus Purple versus Frontgate. Stay tuned to see which one is really lab approved. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, thank you. Some cheese, prosciutto. Not many people can keep fresh mozzarella cold in their car. It's a great idea.